Hey everybody, we are on Module 3, Lesson 6, and our aim is how do we subtract fractions from numbers between 1 and 2. Okay, so there's really not going to be much difference here from the last lesson we did with subtraction. So let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So if we have our fractions 1 and 1 third minus 1 half, so this is a mixed number, right? So we can't, we need to turn it into a fraction. So basically we still need to find the common denominator of 3 and 2. And what would be the common denominator? 6, correct? Okay, so then how do we get from 3 to 6? We multiply it by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 to 6 is 3, 1 times 3 is 3, but we have this whole number here, so we're bringing that here. So now we go to our area models, and I have them all colored in already just to save some time. So here I'm showing you the without the common denominator. I'm showing you what we actually start with here. So it's one and one third and one half. Okay, you guys, I know you guys understand that. So I'm going to move this down here. So it's one and two sixths minus three sixths. So that's my algorithm. I'm moving that down there. So now you know how to do this. We're going to combine it to be all sixths. So what do you think is going to happen? to the mixed number. Is it just going to become a fraction? If you said yes, you are correct. So here's what happens. So as you know, we take the half and the thirds, we multiply them together, and now we have sixths. Okay, everybody with me so far? This whole is six sixths, which is right here. Okay, and this here, this one third, now becomes two sixths because our common denominator is six. So one whole and two sixths now looks like this. Okay, does that make sense? So now we're subtracting. So we want to get rid of three of them. So we go back to where we cross them out. So we have one, two, three gone, and what are we left with in terms of sixths? One, one, two, three, four, five, five sixths. So that's our answer using the area model. Okay, so it's the same thing as we've been doing, except for now you're dealing with a whole. So every time um, one of these problems comes up, there's going to be a mixed number. All right, so that's basically the gist of this lesson. Okay, so let's keep going on. And you'll notice that just to change things up, I keep changing the colors because I was getting bored of yellow and green. So that answers some of the questions that have been posted on Edmodo of why is Mrs. Wallace using pink? Because I feel like it. Okay, next one. There's the pink again. So 1 and 5 fifths minus 1 third. Here is the area model as the mixed number. And here is the fraction. We get our common denominator, which is going to be 15. I know you guys understand that because we've been through this enough times. So if our denominator is 15, OK, Let's figure this out without putting the 1 here. How many fifteenths are there in 1 and 1 fifteenth? So we take the whole and we bring it down here, and we take the 1 fifth and we break it into fifteenths. So this is 15 fifteenths, right? And this is 3 fifteenths. So that makes this number as an improper fraction is 18 fifteenths. You guys see that? Because I just add these together 
to get my 15ths for the improper fraction. Now I need, so, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm putting my 18 15ths here. And my 1 third would be how many 15ths? Well, I would color it this way. Where's my highlighter? Oops, I'm in a different color now. I would color it this way. So how many 15ths is a third? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That makes sense, I hope. Okay, so this is 5 15ths because to get from 3 to 15, I multiplied it by 5. So I have to multiply this numerator by 5. Okay, so now I'm going to cross out my... 5 fifteenths and hold on I don't want the purple here so pretend the purple is not there anymore okay so this is still colored pretend that in your head okay so it's the same color so now I need to cross out my 5 fifteenths because that's what I'm subtracting right so I go 1 2 3 4 5. Okay, you got that? So, oh, sorry, hold on a second. So this should be minus, minus 5 fifteenths equals, oh, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is 13 fifteenths. Now, do I need to count this? Not really, because I am allowed to go straight across. My denominator stays the same because it never changes in addition and subtraction, and I could just do 18 minus 5 equals 13, and you get the same answer. But some people might want to do it on just the area model, and that's okay. It's up to you. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here's my next one. One and a half minus two thirds. So again, I have the area model set up for you. So I have my whole one and my half here, and I have my two thirds here. So if I multiply these together, my common denominator is six. So I put that here automatically, right? That's the first thing I do. So now I changed my one and a half and my two-thirds to become sixths and I have my one and a half becomes how many sixths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine sixths is one and a half. That's what it equals. Okay? So I'm putting that here. So now what does my two-thirds equal? Well, if I have my two-thirds and my new denominator is six, how do I get from the three to the six? I multiply it by two, so I have to multiply this by two, so I get four-sixths. Is everybody with me? I hope so. All right, so now we're going to start to cross out because I think you guys get the hang of this now. So nine-sixths minus four-sixths equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Automatically the 6 goes there. How many do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sixths. 9 minus 4 equals 5. So my answer is 5 sixths. Everybody got that? I think um, this one will go along in a pretty good clip. Let's keep going. We have two more problems to do just to let you know. All right, here's the next one. One and three-fourths minus four-fifths. So I have my one and my three-fourths, and I have my four-fifths. So what is my common denominator here? Without cheating and looking down here. Four times five is 20, right? Everybody sees that? Okay. So my one is here. How many twentieths is in 
a whole if I have pieces of 20. 20 twentieths equals one whole, correct? How many twentieths is equivalent to three fourths? Well, I colored it in down here for you. So I have one, two, three times one, two, three, four, five. So it would be 15 twentieths. Whoops, sorry. So you guys following that? So 20 plus 15 equals 35 twentieths. Okay, so does that make sense? And, and just notice that whenever you have a mixed number here, when you convert it, you're going to have an improper fraction. Every single time that you convert a mixed number into a fraction, it's going to be improper because you have more than a whole there. Okay, so now we're taking our four-fifths and we're turning it into twentieths. So how do I get from the 5 to the 20, I multiply it by 4, have to do the same thing to the 4 times 4 is 16. So this is 16 twentieths. Okay, follow that? Alright, so we're going to go back and we're going to cross out how many twentieths here? 16, right? So it would be crossing out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 twentieths. How many do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20th would be my answer. And if I look at it this way, if I did 35 minus 16, right? 35 minus 16, 15 and 2 would be 19 20th. So it's the same thing. You are going to be asked or required to do the area model. So it's not like, I get that you could probably do this part on your own, but you have to do this. So you have to learn how to set this up, and that's just the way it is, okay? So don't ask me, must I use an area model, because the answer is going to be yes. Okay, here we go, last one. So now, this was hard to draw, just letting you know, because it didn't have a lot of space. Here's my one and four ninths. This is my whole, right? So how many ninths is this? because it's a whole, it's nine ninths, right? And then I have one, two, three, four more. So nine ninths and four ninths equals what? Plus four ninths equals 13 ninths, right? So that's what I have right there. So this converted into a fraction will be 13 ninths. Now I have my half and I have to make my half into what? We're going here. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. This should be 18 ths. Sorry. Hold on a second. This should be 18 ths because that's our common, why'd that go away? That's our common denominator is 18. So this is true, this is 13 ninths, but we need 18. So when we get down here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 ths. So we're converting it. So our one whole now is 18 eighteenths and our four ninths is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ninths because it got doubled. I'm running out of time. My one half becomes how many eighteenths? Nine eighteenths because I have to multiply two by nine to get the eighteen, so then I do the same thing there. So now, how many 18s do I have all together? 18 